Actually, I'm just relaxing. But here's something you might be wondering. What do you mean the rise and the fall of Smosh? Is that Smosh is like still around? And didn't some really big news just come out? Like some really big news that makes this whole video no reason to even be making? Yes. Okay, look, 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 look. Before you step off the video, look. I made the script around... A couple months ago, I think seven months ago, and that was when I made the script. And now I'm just going to improv at the very end. Yay! I'm not rewriting this. It took me. I was on a whole bunch of uh, ADHD pills, and because I have ADHD, and they give me some pills, and I was like, and going crazy with it because I was like, this is great. This is going to be a great video. And then depression happened due to a ex. Yeah, screw that girl. She is a horrible person, monster, even. But now look, you might be wondering, what is going on? What is, what do you mean, the rise and the fall of Smosh? Like, it makes no sense, bro. Like, what are you doing? I, look, I know, I know, I know, I know. But here's the thing, just trust me on this, enjoy the video, and let's get started. And I'm just gonna, ah, just chill here with you guys and I'm going to tell you the beginning of this rise and the fall of Smosh. The year was 2005. This video, Power Rangers theme, was the start of Smosh. Power Rangers theme is the first ever video ever uploaded on YouTube and the beginning of Ian's and Anthony's new life as the largest YouTubers of the time. But before we get into the channel, let's talk about the beginning of it all. Just like a brief history. Yes, I know, this is not a great video. You guys might were expecting a lot better audio and and everything but I promise when I get a better mic and software and put this video together I will remake it and rewrite the script maybe but enjoy okay enjoy <clears throat> the beginning back in 2002 in the city of Carmichael California Anthony Padilla learned how to code and then made a website called www.smosh.com that's right that is right smosh was actually a website way before the U channel YouTube channel or even YouTube in general was even there Anthony's website began with just him and his friends but then it shot up to tens of thousands of new users. Wow! Looks like anything's possible! Hell, even the good old Tom Ska uploaded some of his first videos to Smosh.com! If you guys don't know who Tom Ska is, he's the one who made the uh, ASDF movies. You know, the... <laughs> got your nose! <laughs> Look out, he's got a nose! Hmm. Hey man, what the- Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Level up! Die, potato! Mmm, yum. Ah! Why would you do this? I have a wife and family! Ah, no! oh, the pain! It's unbearable! What have I done? Ah! Tell my children I love them! Daddy! Ah! No! The first Smosh video. One day, 
Anthony and Ian were bored at the house, so just as any normal friends would, they decided to make a video of themselves lip syncing to the Power Rangers theme song. You know, just like any cool teens do. Anthony then uploaded the video to his website, Smosh.com, and not YouTube. I know, I was just as surprised when I found out too. That video of them got so many views, and Anthony and Ian made, and yet, another video of them lip syncing to the Mortal Kombat theme song. But due to the early 2000s, the site's bandwidth made it cost for every view the video got on it. So therefore, soon the video got uploaded to YouTube by someone else. Anthony then found out and said, hey, this is free to post on? So why not? And boom, on November 19th, 2005, the creation of the Smos channel was officially born. The first of YouTube. Already done. Now, this finally brings us up to the beginning of the video. Anthony uploaded the two videos that the Smosh partners made. Then, the video that made it all happen. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was, Pokemon. Okay, okay, enough of that copyright strike bull honky. But yes, that video blew up. They e <laughs>24 million views. It even made the most viewed video of the time. Smosh even became the most subscribed channel at the time of YouTube. Then after that video, they started on an old comedy skit we all know and love, such as That Damn Neighbor, Food Battle 2006, more and more time passes the channel is unforgettable. So that was a br so that was the brief history of Smosh. I know, but well, you're here for the rise and the fall of Smosh. And some people will be like, uh, but anyway, I like Smosh. The videos and the new cast are, and skits are great. I love every blank ever. And now the videos are longer. Blah, 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 blah. Look. If you like how the new videos are. And how long they are. And how the jokes just fall flat. That's okay. That is your opinion. But I personally feel like the day Anthony left. Was when Smosh wasn't Smosh. And even before Anthony left. The channel just stopped being a fun comedy group that did skits and not making really funny videos that made them laugh, but making videos that companies like and the kids will watch. I honestly feel like they gave more care about whether this will be able to give ads on it and grow more than being able to have fun and coming up with funny shit. Not making a really funny video and make themselves laugh, but making a video that companies like and the kids will watch. I honestly feel like they gave more care about whether this video will be able to have ads and grow more than being able to have fun. Coming up with making a funny video that makes themselves laugh so that others can join in with their joke. Yes, I am aware. To make money, you have to censor yourself. 
make skits that show a product or say this don't say that someone will get hurt if we get in trouble and lose money and that our subs will go down I'm aware that YouTube has a change and sadly for the worst but when but I will respect your opinion if you still like it this channel I'm glad I am glad truly I am glad that Ian is still in charge making money I am also very able to say this in my own opinion this is my opinion this is the rise and the fall of the beloved channel of Smosh the original Smosh videos the old skates were iconic they still make me laugh to this day sure they aren't as good as of in quality but man look at this joke and tell me it doesn't make you laugh Jump into who's the best, Benny Jean? You really beefed up that security with the tax and stuff? Yep. I bet he ain't never gonna get in oh, there. Oh, he ain't never getting in this fenced in area. And my flamingo is secure. Wait just a darn minute, Cletus. What? How did you get in here? Well, duh, I cut a hole right here the other day. That punchline. I don't know, but it makes me smile. But. Sure, it's not the funniest, but man, it's still good. I personally love the Billy Mays videos that they made. It was a two-parter with these really good two jokes. The beard hair is funny. The beard hair is funny, and Anthony goes through it so many ways to just grow a beard just as so that he can look like he has pubes all over his face. The the best joke is in the second video where the Ian shoots the guy's arm off and then the two friends get the fuck out and the man is shouting, you shot off my arm, picking up the whole arm that got shot off with both of his arms holding the fake arm. It's just funny. It's like. He's, uh, it's just a really good joke, you know? It's it's good. Did I say the f originals were the funniest? No. But did I say they were iconic and funny? Yes. Smosh in 2011. This then brings us into the 2011 era. Of the 2011 era of Smosh. And one of the best videos is the paranormal easy bake is the paranormal easy bake oven video this video is a golden classic and it ages like fine wine <sighs> is that i think a, a, a nice woody and hazel feet smell of aura mm. The video starts off with Anthony and Ian showing the Easy Bake Oven Ian supposedly found on the doorstep with cupcakes next to it. So that makes Anthony want to document it. Because sadly, money is low. They have to share Anthony's bed. Af after nights of Ian sleepwalking, <coughs> well, um, with Anthony doing some uh, non-monetizable things in his sleep, they got rid of it. Not once, but two times. That's right. It came back. Then one of the darkest jokes where Ian kills Anthony by bashing his head in with the toaster. Ian sits in the room holding the Easy Bake Oven. When cops show up and Ian in shock looks at the cop asking, Anthony? As he pulls out his croissant and the cop then pops three sh to five shots. Three to five shots. The golden era. 
why did I just take time to go into detail about a video? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because they weren't afraid to make a darker joke and a good video to be able to make something that bends the lines a little. Let's talk about its golden era, 2012 to 2015. We will go into depth of the best videos of Smosh. September 26th, 2012. The first ever Smosh game video was posted. Zombies, Assassins, Sagnut, as well as the other channels. Like Smosh Pit and Shut Up Cartoons, as well as the best years of videos of Smosh. Food Battle 2012. But most of the most iconic and most loved songs of all time that they made. Smosh. Assassin's Creed song and music video. I can't tell you how many times me and my friends watch this video and memorize it. I even listen to it while writing this script. It's such a good song. No, no. It is such a great song. How many fools can I kill today? Too many to count, don't get in my way. Shoot a mofo and I throw him a bow. Tomahawk chop is a death blow. Tomahawk. Tomahawk. <sighs> Before the copyright comes to it. The other Assassin's Creed song. The Assassin's Creed Black Flag song as well. Well, it's not as memorable, but it's catchy. The Golden Era was a great time. Food Battle, Food Battle 2012 was a great video. It was funny and even made me laugh. To this day, I love the Stop Copying Me videos. It takes true talent to pull that video off. Even with a great ending joke. Just... Plus the great Christmas puppet videos are just great content. Overall, the golden years were amazing, but time to talk to the Smosh movie. The Smosh movie. The Smosh movie was released on July 23rd, 2015. The movie was about if Anthony and Ian never became famous and just had a normal life. Anthony in this video was on, up on YouTube. That is an embarrassing to him. So... Anthony and Ian got to YouTube HQ to get the video taken down. There's also some type of love interest, which is also why he wants to get rid of the video off of YouTube so they can get together. I'm not sure, but... When the Smosh Bros get to YouTube HQ, they talk to Susan. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is before Susan was in charge. Well, in the writing of the movie, that is. We meet Mr. Steve YouTube. The movie was a big hit. They even went inside of the YouTube servers. Like the new Space Jam movie. Oh god. I can't believe it. Space Jam stole the idea off of Smosh movie? Oh my god! Nah. But, Ian and Anthony going inside the internet to get the video taken down themselves. Wait a minute, isn't that just... Ralph Frick's internet? Wait, did they... Did a whole bunch of places... Wait a minute, okay. Never mind. Blech. Now, during the time of 2015... They hired new actors to join Smosh. We all know that. Their pictures are going up now. After the Smosh movie was made, the videos kind of changed. The videos were more of having products and sponsors. More like more and more. And less jokes that were funny like if they were censored or told to be child friendly. The fall of Smosh. <sighs> like I said, 
after the Smosh movie, it felt like they were changing. That was probably because of Susan since she became the CEO of YouTube in 2014, but started to make changes in 2015 that made everything more child friendly. Like the adpocalypse, where we lost all of our favorite YouTubers due to the adpocalypse. We could they could discuss nothing. Smosh started a series called Every Blink Ever. It was meh to say. The first video was called Every Instagram Ever. <sighs> it up I hate it so much every Instagram ever and that video showed the downfall like the fuse of TNT if you don't throw it it's gonna blow up in your face they also did another movie called Ghostmates for YouTube Red on December 14th 2016 a year later on the most heartbreaking thing that could ever have happened to Smosh Anthony Padilla left Smosh with Ian and Anthony in this video. I'm leaving Smosh. Or I guess as of today, I've left Smosh. Smosh would be like how it was when we first started. Before Smosh was a brand owned by a company. And I had to come to terms with the fact that Smosh being part of a company has put all of my creative decisions through a filter of what's appropriate for the Smosh brand as deemed by the company. I need to feel that happiness again. I need to be doing what makes me happiest to wake up each morning. Anthony leaves Smosh. Anthony made a video on his channel giving his reasons why he left Smosh. He said that he didn't like what the channel became, that it wasn't even fun to censor himself. The videos not able to have cussing. He came to a realization that Smosh would never be like when he started. Just two friends making videos and having fun. So Anthony left the company. So Anthony left Smosh, leaving Smosh to focus on his own channel instead of making the videos of of Smosh. Man, Smosh is, that's a lot of Smosh in this script. Anyways, roll through, because I'm not going to do that much editing. Instead, he made videos of what he likes to do. Anthony knows. Anthony now makes interviews with different kinds of people, such as Swagger Souls, to Brandon Rogers, and well... And Shall we give people who may not be familiar with your characters a a sampler. I'm ready for this. Okay. <clears throat> you look really good today. Did you put on that outfit yourself today, Sam? Well, you know, I thought about putting together something different, but this just is my usual go-to, and it makes my whole look great. Sam, by the way, is, is me if I never came out of the closet. <laughs> and just all that repressed energy just... A lot of gay men have a version of themselves before they came mm. out of who we were trying to convince the world we were. Mm. Sam is that if he just never came out. As well as all YouTubers, but as well as including people with different disabilities to people with different disorders and mental issues. But I'm happy to say that Anthony is doing great with this channel, doing the types of content that he enjoys. He has the ability to have fun, the ability to have full creative control Okay, I want to make this off script and say that Anthony has become the best that he has ever could by quitting and doing his own thing. By leaving, he has did his own thing and has made the best videos he have ever he has ever done. Because if you think if Anthony never left, he would still be in Smosh, and we would watch his life drain in every video he is in, such, such as Ian. For the channel that is still going and everyone looks dead and bland. I'm sorry. The every blink ever era. <laughs>
I don't want to talk about this one, guys. I'm so sorry. I, the script piece was so fucking... I mean, this is such a long piece of the script of just the every... The every blink ever era is the most horrible time to be a fan of Smosh. Like, it was horrible. It was no good... Vi okay. Let's get back into it. Whoop. Every blink ever era. When Anthony left, all there was was one CEO, Ian, to be the only CEO of Smosh. And this begins a true era of the every blink ever era of Smosh. The channel just pushed more and more only on EBE. Every blink ever. By the way, guys, if whenever I say every EBE... It's an acronym for every blink ever, because I'm not going to say every blink ever every time, okay? Okay? Cool. Okay. Back to, back to the video. Only more EBE videos, just pumping them out, and the whole channel. There were other skits videos, but the channel was just mostly the EBE videos, were posted more and more one after another they even still post it to this day the last ebe video on the what, channel was posted at the time of writing this script every blank ever fast food marathon it's actually sad to see this video still being made the videos only have a 689k to the video compared to their old videos it's not that much but if I could get I don't know that much views on this video I would be so happy that I would be so happy that I would probably shit myself guys <laughs> no but so that bad but it's just a combination of every blank ever fast food places they're just a combination of every blink ever fast food places. Not that bad, but not the videos to watch due to them not being funny. And jokes don't even make me laugh. They just fall flat every time. The videos are long at, the videos are as long as ten to forty minutes long. Most of the time that just never make me laugh. I might have I might not be the intended audience for these videos. I'm not a child. The last time I was on the Smos channel was like two weeks ago when I started on this script and saw the Viagra video. Mm. Yeah. These candies are really good. Thanks for bringing them in, Courtney. Oh, I didn't bring them in. I wonder where they're from. Hey, there was a bottle of Viagra at the front desk earlier. Have any of you seen it? Oh, frick. I ate like 12 of those. What's gonna happen to me? Guys, I'm feeling like really horny. Oh God. Oh shit. Oh shit. I haven't been this horny since I watched Danny Phantom in middle school. Don't ask me which character. Okay, fine, it was Danny Phantom. Okay, fine, I lied, it was the parents. Okay. And was just disappointed and confused. But now it's just weird. Smosh has never been for kids. So I'm not saying the videos are made for kids, but it's mostly kids watching Smosh still. Because I don't know anyone who still watches this channel who grew up watching it. So it's kids and teens that's keeping this channel up, but still makes the channel dead compared to the old days. To be honest, I am glad to see that Smosh is still alive and kicking, K still getting views, but it just makes me sad. It looks like they are just not trying. The channel just feels like a newer seasons of Simpsons, America Dad, or even Family Guy, where in the beginning they were good, but then the, after the golden era, it was fantastic. But in the golden era, it was fantastic, but now... It just got sad and boring. I just 
repeating ideas and making anything. I grew up with Smosh. And I love the video. I love all their videos that they made back in the day. Since the beginning of YouTube, I started watching the channel back in 2012. Watching every video of theirs. But all channels die. If you still love watching the videos, good. I'm happy that they make you laugh and smile. Because when I was younger, I would come back from a bad day of school being bullied and no help from the school itself and I would escape to YouTube and their videos the newest Smosh videos of and Jacksepticeye and all the famous YouTubers at the time helped me escape from the whole hell I was forced to go to so yes I'm happy if the videos are funny we just can't relate thank you Alright, well, that's done with that video. Ugh. Well, time to go and uh, take a shit. Uh, well, time to uh, go and edit the video. Damn, it's 8. It's almost time to go. I think I'm hungry for a pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Good old Lil Caesars. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ha. Mmm. Mmm. Fuck. Cardboard. It might be cardboard, but it's better than nothing. I'm broke as fuck. Anyways. I think I need to go edit that video. What the hell are you doing? Don't you know that Smosh is back? The OG Anthony and Ian are back. What are you doing? What the? Who the hell are you? And what are you doing in my house? What do you mean that the... Wait, what do you mean that the old Smosh is back? That's right, the new Smosh is back. The old one, it's a goddamn reboot. The rise of it. Wait, really? Hold up, I need to look this up. What the hell you mean, news? I didn't hear about anything but the... Aw, uh, fuck. I just made the video! You're right. I got to. Well, guys... I guess it's time for the rebirth of Smosh. That's right. Looks like you're gonna have to do a rebirth video next. And you guys are gonna see it. <laughs> Alright, so apparently Smosh is back. The old Smosh is back, guys. And I know this video is a rise and fall, but you know what? Who doesn't love a, a new comeback story? Or even a rebirth. Like a messiah. Anyways, just like Jesus, he comes, they come back. Ian and Anthony bought Smosh back. After Smosh lost money and went out of business with the company, after the whole rug pull shit happened, Rhett and Link, that's right, Rhett and Link came in clutch and bought Smosh for them. So that's why it's really kid friendly and like really bad. But here's something: Anthony Padilla and Ian Hecox actually bought it back. They had a whole new thing going on where Anthony and Ian. Uh, so there was a lot of beef that happened after the whole breakup and everything of the group and Anthony leaving Smosh. They were not buddy buddies like they said they were. It was complete all for the cameras, as everyone knows. So, so, basically, they bought Smosh back, and I'm so happy to be relieved. It's actually so much better. And my favorite video, like I said, 
was stop copying me. And you know what? They did. They actually made a brand new video today. Now of... I ripped that script a good couple of months ago. I mean, I think around four, seven months ago. No, uh, around six months ago now. It is now Friday, 7th. Uh, whatever. It is now a new era of Smosh. From the rise to the golden era to the fall to rebirth from the ashes to grow again this is the rebirth era i'm not really sure of what else i could say but the old classic smosh videos that we all love are coming back everything is going to be the same for the smosh pit smosh everything else but smosh channel itself they are exactly the same as they originally started. That's right. See, you might think, oh, but how are we supposed to have anything else if Smosh is still isn't really Smosh? Here's the thing. Smosh is still Smosh. Even if you don't get the whole shot. Uh, it's a whole new rebrand. There's no script for this. I'm legit recording this just as everything i just got done recording the video of the script that i wanted to make so long ago i don't know when this video is going to go out if, if sponsor is going to be relevant again but you know what i did this for a reason i made this script a long time ago kept on troubleshooting it trying to see, figure out what how we record it or something but you know what vr chat works just fine and i can do a camera you can see me I, I use my hands. Woo! I can edit it all together on one video. Perfect. And that's what really matters. I'm so happy that the new golden era of the rebirth of Smosh is back. Because Smosh... Get, come over here. Smosh is... Over here. Too close. Too far away. Smosh is back. See? Smosh... Ethan, Ian and Anthony Padilla are right back. A lot of beef has been settled. The channel's right back to where it should be. And they're both grown and own their own channel again. And they actually own it this time instead of having uh, some fake stock that never actually had any value in. When they sold the channel to the co com company to make it into what it, it was when it went down in 2015. It's now a new thing. They have full ownership of their own channels. They can do whatever they want. They can say what they want. They can make the videos that we all love and cared for so long ago again. They made a stop copying me video. And I watched it. It's so good. Let me put you a little. Okay, come back. Come back to the video. Go check out their channel again. Smosh Doc. Smosh is back, baby. And I am so ready for the new era. And I'm so happy that. This video doesn't have a sad point of Smosh is gone. Sad. No one sees it again. And I waited on this video so long. And I have the motivation to actually record it and edit it. After a lot of shit that's been going on in my life, I need to at least make something with myself. And make the content that I actually want to and enjoy doing. Without letting myself just go back down to doing nothing and... Being falling in a part of, I'm trying to chase something that's never really going to happen. I want to be successful. And the job I'm working right now is not helping me at all. But this makes me happy. And I hope that anyone that watches this video has helped me grow. Because I don't just want to do gaming videos. I want to do an all-around channel, movie, anime, and all this stuff. I'm planning on maybe doing it. I know I promised that a long time ago, but this is actually going to be able to happen if I can get the resources that I really want. Funny VR videos or uh, Force, Sons of the Forest and so many others. It just takes time to actually get something motivated because of life happening way too fast and not me being a head of myself. So thank you if you guys stay. Thank you if you subscribe and help me get to over a thousand subscribers. So I can monetize this channel and make videos that I can care and work for and not have to have some 
ownership of someone not paying me anything for minimal amount of hours just to stay in a job that's some type of kind of afloat something I don't have to worry about I would do as much as in my power to actually get you the content that you guys enjoy you see if you ever see a, a long time ago and ever watched my old YouTube channel I am ESD gamer you might not heard of that a long time ago my YouTube channel was ESD gamer every electronic device but when I was a little kid I always done it made YouTube channels to make people laugh and I got video views like crazy and I got hacked by a person that I could trust and he uploaded a video of pornographic in of porn and I lost it forever all those old videos of me gone and I can't talk to someone in YouTube anymore like I used to it's gone forever to be lost in the media of drown one last thing I want to say is yo 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 ESD gamer is here and Nut King is just a title of who I am so is so is yeah look I enjoy making videos and I enjoy making people laugh I'm a funny person I try to do as much as I can that's good and some of the bad of me is just depression and I can't take out it hurts knowing that I'm not able to be myself anymore due to trauma and the abuse I went through but other than that of being gaslit and a whole bunch of shit that happened to me and me going after people that are very toxic and not good for me in general that hurts me and continuously just do things that make me go insane and confuse me and all this at least I get one piece of myself back which is Smosh I don't care what really happens with my channel I hope that it does well and I hope that you guys enjoy it and that you show that you want more because I want to do videos of old cartoons and movies and things like that of things that we grew up with of like talking about them and experience them again for the first time in a new light of what we are who we are and what we learn from these vi movies videos games that we grew up with the youtubers that we watched way back in the day like Jack Septic guy and the development of a person if you guys enjoyed that type of videos anything let me know let me know down the comment down below I really want to try doing more videos like this and try to give myself a more creative output of like how I can give myself more you know things of instead of just you know I'm talking off the top of my head so it's gonna be a bit of a thing going on but no script full do you guys want me to have a script because the whole thing you just read or heard was a script except the piece of me and the, like the in the chair and shit that was top of my head baby that was improv and I think it came out pretty good I want to know I'm not gonna know until I actually edit the video but I think it came out pretty good yeah <laughs> but uh yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thankfully Smosh is back so remember to hit that like button subscribe for more content I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye